Mr. President, Honorable Ministers, Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen, Latvia fully aligns itself with the statement made by the European Union. I see this year's UNIA theme strengthening actions for nature to achieve the sustainable development goals not only as a very comprehensive one, but also deeply interlinked with a number of environmental challenges. The unsustainable consumption and production patterns are the main reasons for the worldwide decline of biodiversity. The increase of plastic pollution is the visible result of an unsustainable way of life. Therefore, the proposed resolution on an international legally binding instrument on plastic pollution is of great importance to deal with this global problem. Latvia highly supports this instrument with a clear mandate and time frame to start negotiations. Recognizing that land-based sources are major causes of marine pollution, Latvia calls on to address the full life cycle uh, approach of plastics with the circular economy to prevent plastic from finding its way to the seas. Due to the transboundary nature of plastics value chains, it is clear that a global response is needed to tackle plastic pollution effectively. Ongoing actions, including on regional level, are of great importance. If we look at the Baltic Sea, Helcom Regional Marine Litter Action Plan can be an inspiring example of the role of regional organizations in global processes. An additional key issue to prevent plastic pollution is allocation of intellectual and material resources to efficient waste collection and the application of eco-design principles in the production of goods and packaging, which significantly reduce the amount of waste generated. I am sure that nature-based solutions are the right way to achieve sustainable development goals in their social, economic, and environmental dimensions. Sustainability challenges include transitioning to a more innovative and eco-efficient economy that provides opportunities for all people and for nature as well. Human and natural capital are equal parts of the sustainable development strategy of Latvia. To efficiently manage the natural capital, it is necessary to determine the critical natural capital reduction of which is not admissible. Regarding biodiversity, we are looking into synergies between economy and nature by using data of recent countrywide inventory of protected habitats in Latvia. Regarding eco-efficiency, we have to recognize that if we want to stay committed to the transition to circular and resource-efficient economy, we must work in close partnerships at all levels. As for example, Latvia has developed the green public procurement, which is based on life cycle approach as one of the implementing tools of circular economy in close partnership with all stakeholders. I truly believe that we can find solutions on difficult issues to strengthen the environmental dimension of sustainable development globally. Thank you.